we are well on our way to equip our vehicles and robots to help it move autonomously. Hello everyone. In today's video, you will see how you can mark image segments that make it easy for us to work with our objects of interest. You will see how you can segment an image based on colors, refine these detections, and analyze the resulting image regions, all using interactive apps. Let's take a scenario where you want to maneuver your vehicle through mark cones autonomously. For this, you need to differentiate between these distinct cones and the rest of the image. This process is called image segmentation, which helps you understand the location of segments of interest in the entire environment. For image segmentation, you want to find a method that can help you get something like this. This is called a mask and is a matrix of zeros and ones. The white area is indicative of the area of interest and multiplying it with the original image, you get the areas that are of interest to you. There are various methods to perform segmentation, threshold based, color based, geometry based. We will begin with one of the most used techniques in segmentation, which is color based segmentation. Before we go into color thresholding, you will need to pre-process the image. You need just a view of the road and not the car and the rest of the environment. So let us crop the image using the I am crop function. Here we will crop the image interactively by selecting the image part that we need. And the resulting cropped image will be present in this variable along with size and position of the crop rectangle. The first task is to use color based thresholding to distinguish the red color from the rest of the background. To do this, you can try an interactive method using the color thresholder app. You will find this in the MATLAB tool strips under apps and image processing and computer vision and you can click on color thresholder. First things first, we will load the image of interest. For us, it is the cropped image which we will load from the workspace. We will use the cropped image. You can select the color space which you want to work in, which are represented by point clouds here. We will just go with the RGB color space. You will then get these interactive sliders. So you can move these around to find the exact color that you need to detect these cones. You can view the mask superimposed on the image, or you can just view the binary. And now if you need to use it later for a different task, this image can be exported as an image or as a MATLAB function. We will export this image. We will export the binary mask, the masked RGB image, but we don't need the input RGB image because it's already on our workspace. Say OK. And we have the variables which have been created from the app. One thing to keep in mind here is that color based thresholding is sensitive to changes in environment and the lighting. For example, a color in bright sunlight would look different from the one in a dim light. A solution to this is to take multiple sample photos from the environment, apply the thresholds and test the results. You can find the threshold values that suits the test images the best and use it in the rest of your algorithm. Great, let's see the mask. But it does not look like the correct representation of what was intended, right? There are black pixels in areas that should have been completely white, probably due to light reflected from the object. This is why an image needs to be refined. You can do it interactively using the image segmenter app. The app is again located under apps and image processing and computer vision. You can click on image segmenter. Let's first load the image from workspace. Our image is called cropped image. We will then load the mask. You can create a new mask too, but since we want to segment based on colors, we will use a color thresholder mask that we had exported just a while back. There are various methods, but what we will use today is the local graph cut method. You can select the area of interest, click on mark foreground, scribble on the area where you think it's the foreground, and just click on apply. You can do the same thing to mark the background as well. 
This may work well for some objects which have a very prominent foreground object, but may not work well for some others. We can then proceed to refining the mask. We can say fill holes, which will fill this hole due to the reflected light, or we can go to morphological operations. Some of the morphological operations are dilate, erode, open, and close. You can select the one depending on whichever is the best performing algorithm for you and just click on apply. We can see the mask using show binary, which we can eventually export as an image or as a MATLAB function. We'll just export it as an image. After getting the satisfied mask image, we can find the position of the connected components or the segmented cones in the mask image and annotate the original image to mark the segmented objects. Segmenting an image is an art. You need to try different methods to see what works best for you and your data. Once you have the mask, you want to probably reject regions with smaller area and want only the cones at the very front of the car. You can do this interactively using the Image Region Analyzer app, which is located under the MATLAB tool strip apps under image processing and computer vision. Here you must select the mask that we are interested in, which is the mask we exported from the image segmenter app. Select the filters that you need. Let's say we want to reject any area that is lesser than 75 pixels. And now you see that this area, which was wrongly detected as a cone, has been rejected. For all of you who are using Simulink, you can use the export function feature from the apps, select the part of the code that you need, and plug it into the MATLAB function block in your Simulink model. As an exercise, we will count the number of circular yellow objects in this image using Simulink. We will first read the image, detect the yellow colored objects in the image using the Color Thresholder app. We will then refine the mask and filter the result by eccentricity to obtain the number of circular objects. To sum up, today we saw how we can perform color-based segmentation using the Color Thresholder app. We then refine the mask using the Image Segmenter app. We then eventually saw how we can analyze regions in the image using the Region Analyzer app. The graphic interfaces of the apps helps reduce difficulties and the time that you spend on trying different image segmentation methods, tuning those parameters, and testing your performance iteratively. And you can also export these results to use them in other various tasks. If you have any questions while you're working through this video or through the exercises, please feel free to reach out to us at roboticsarina.com. Thank you, and see you in the next video.